John here guys and today a quick update on the HDO2 for anybody that wears prescription diopters on their other fat shark style goggles. Now once the HD2 was released and it was noted that they had a different mechanism here to be able to adjust the focus adjustments and did not have the diopter slots. One of the first things I wanted to do as soon as I got these was get out to the field with my buddy Miguel El Profe. He is one of the longtime members of FPV that taught me and a lot of other people how to fly, how to tune, how to fix things. And he wears prescription diopters. So here's what he has to say out in the field. As far as being in focus, good. See everything clearly. Okay, nice. Not blurry at all. It looks sharp. And your uh, prescription ones that you had were what, like a is it minus three or something? Or? Yeah, minus three on the right and like minus three fifty on the left. Okay, cool. And, uh, but you're able to like adjust each side separately to get it pretty yeah. much the same. Mm -hmm. Is it the same as, as your prescription ones, or better, or like slightly worse? Uh, I think it's probably the same. Nice. It's the same. I mean, the screen itself being bigger, it helps. Oh, okay. Because see, it's like I'm seeing the, the screen up closer, you know? Instead of being farther away. Kind of like me that are nearsighted, we can't see from far away, but up close we can see. Oh, uh, okay. So, so bringing it closer with the bigger screen, yeah, actually helps. Yeah, it helps. So, is that a circle thing? People are saying the circle thing bothers them. Like, to me, like once I'm flying for like ten seconds, I don't even notice it anymore. Yeah, once you start focusing on the actual flying. You don't really notice it. Yeah, I can't see like the whole screen if I'm just looking down the middle. Yeah. I can't I can't see the info on the upper edges, outer edges. Yeah, I think people with prescription don't need to worry about it, even with astigmatism. I mean unless your stigmatism's like way out of the roof, maybe. But nice. Are you gonna get some? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That looks nice, but... Mm. Well, they say, uh, for now, I still prefer the other one. Yeah. So, yeah, it brings the screen, like, instead of being out here. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like closer. Right right? Oh. You don't even need the prescription. With the focus adjustments, it's more than enough. So just to recap, he wears a minus three on one side and a minus 350 on the other side for those prescription diopters. Now those typically run you about $70 uh, to get a set of those for your fat shark. So if you're um, comparing the fat shark versus the Orca, Factor in $70 for those prescription diopters if you are one of those users. If you are one of the people that has an astigmatism, that was one of the big things on if you have an astigmatism, will you be able to use the HDO2s with the focus adjustment? Um, I believe Barwell also may have an astigmatism, so he's also able to wear these no problems. If you are in that typical range, if you have found that you are an astigmatism um, HDO2 user that has difficulty focusing, please let me know in the comments, but as far as this test goes, it was perfectly successful. Are you guys gonna be upgrading or are you gonna stay to the HDO2s? One note is that Miguel noted that while the image was extremely clear because the screen is so close to the eye compared to the other HDOs that he typically uses, he wasn't looking to upgrade at this time uh, just because his HDOs are still perfectly usable. But uh, for me, it was worth the upgrade. Some people perfectly fine. Remember the HDOs are still very, very usable for anybody that has them or wants to upgrade to them. It's a great time. You can find them for as low as $300 for a set of clean HDOs. 
Very nice, guys. It's a great time to be flying FPV. Thanks.